again, I just, I don't come to di- <laughs> Yes. Yes, mom, I almost said Disney, even though, even though I work here. Good early morning, my beauties, from Universal Orlando. It is an exciting day, not only for myself, but for these two over here. Now, obviously, I work here, so I'm here almost every day, but these two have not been here in over five years. It's been a while, they have a lot of catching up to do, so we're gonna waste no time. Let's go on in and see what's going on. It is Christmas Eve, by the way, so it's gonna be packed. For instance, there's already a decent amount of people getting ready to scan in. Hey, that's what pirate shoes. <laughs> they shoot cannons. All right, after just a few days, I'm in, and after five years, they're in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I don't even know where to start. My mom wants to go to the tribute store because that's where I work, mind you. Um, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll leave that part in. Why not? Not that many people know who I am, so it's okay. Oh my gosh. Look, it's my boy Earl. Oh my gosh, let's go say hi. Hey, Earl. If you are not on the uh, Earl the Squirrel hype train, I highly suggest you jump on board. So already, Despicable Me is at 50 minutes. Now, to my surprise, the walkway through Production Central in New York doesn't look that bad at the moment, but I think as the day starts to move on, it's gonna pick up. Literally, just from the looks of it, New York is dead. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the mummy is at least at 45 minutes, but in terms of the walkways, it's dead. Alrighty, first ride we're gonna do is race through New York. I've been on this in over a year. It's a fun one though. Oh yeah, look, it's a five minute wait. Here we get a look at some of the uh, former hosts of The Tonight Show. And of course we have our current host, Mr. Jimmy Fallon. It actually feels very like fancy, if you will. That's probably because I've never been to New York. Welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. You're here, you made it. This is the place to be. I'm your host, Jimmy Fallon, and this is the race through New York. This is very exciting, guys. In a few minutes, we're gonna go head to head in a high speed, action packed race through New York City. You're gonna see it all. You're gonna see Times Square, the Statue of Liberty, the Empire State Building. But before we start, I have to tell you about some very important safety precautions. <laughs> and I don't want to talk about them, that, that's boring. I want to rap about them. Do you know what I'm saying, Trey? Yeah, Jimmy, I think you're saying you want me to rap the Race to New York safety precautions. That's right, Roots, give me a beat! <laughs> This simply isn't a suitable ride for you Other people were unable to allow a mission And over the valley is back, neck, or heart condition You better start to listen It's risky business if you're prone to dizziness Or any type of motion sickness No video, photos, recordings, no one social is allowed I hope I'm speaking loud and clear enough You get this? You definitely should sit this one out I have to say to you If you have recent surgery or a condition that's aggravated By this race intervention It's unsafe if you enter Refraining is the simplest way to avoid being injured If you're lucky enough to be allowed to take this ride Your arms, legs, heads, and hands must remain inside Not to mention your feet And keep your loose articles safely stored beneath the seat Information complete Oh! That is how you do it! Tariq and the Roots, everybody! <laughs> A few moments later. Alrighty, well, uh, race through New York was a lot of fun. 
I enjoyed that even though it's been well over a year. But now, we are going to try and see if we can find Earl in the tree. I know where he is. I don't know if these two know where he is. Yep, there he is, kind of. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick him up because he's like kind of hidden in there, if you will. But if you look really closely, you can see a hole in there. Maybe if I back up a little bit, maybe you might be able to see him, I don't know. But now, it is time to go in the best store in the world, the Tribute Store. All right, now obviously, I work in here, so I see it almost every day, but I want to film their reactions to it. Reindeer food, pre-flight checklist. Isn't that cool? And again, the ginormous nutcracker. Oh look, it's the little things. Oh my gosh, this little guy is so cute. Just look at his smile and look, he got this squishy little tushy. But mind you, I did buy this not too long ago, so I do need to buy thing two. Um, yeah, let's get him. I've been meaning to get him. The naughty and nice list, yeah, I'm on there. I'm not. Well, yeah, because these are all the team members. Oh, it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, those are all those are all the team members. They spelled your name wrong. Yeah, they did spell my name wrong. Oh well, at least they still thought of me. They're sitting on Santa's throne. It is actually surprisingly comfy. Comfy. I think it is. I think it's surprisingly comfy. All right. Room two. Earl the Squirrels, Christmas Curios, Museum and Emporium. Alright. Alright, Desiree, what should I pick? I've had what what have I not? Okay. I haven't had the Yule Log Brownie, I haven't had the Snow Glow Cake, and the Yeah! I think that's basically it. The apples we'll get to later. The apple, I've had the hazelnut one and it's pretty good. Um, the Yule Log Brownie, the only, my only complaint about that brownie is like, it's, the inside. I know, I know, it's, it's, it's so small. It's like a two white brownie. It's, just, it's so sad. But she finished it like, so I mean if you're, maybe try one of the things. The snow globe cake? Well which one should I go for? So we have, we have red velvet, chocolate, and vanilla. Um, What's your favorite flavor? All of them. I would say maybe vanilla. I was gonna say, the vanilla one looks the coolest because it has like the igloo and the gingerbread man and whatnot. Let's do it. Abby is gonna get herself a snowman macaroon. That one is toasted marshmallow. And yes, I know I probably mispronounced it to some, but whatever. Oh yeah, and by the way, here's our uh, five foot squirrel that Andrew, the creative guy, always talks about over the speakers. <laughs> and I know I've already toured this store for you guys, but look, it's just, that's so hilarious yet so dark. Just seeing Earl up there just chewing through all those wires. Did you guys look at my picture? Yeah. There's me. <laughs> they, they made my beard way too full. They also exaggerated my cheeks a little too much. They got the floof in my hair perfect. Honestly, I just wish I had a haircut when I took the picture that I sent them, if you will. Oh yeah, this guy, like, I don't know, like, what is that supposed to be, like an anteater or something? Like, I don't, everyone who works here is speechless by this because we don't know what to think. We also got some treats now. I actually want to try this. It's white chocolate and gummy fish. I mean, <laughs> I love chocolate and I love gummy candies, but mixed, well, no, there are like chocolate covered gummy bears, but this just seems a whole lot different. So what do you think of this room? It's incredible. Yeah, I could tell they definitely love the tribute store. At least so far, we still have one more room. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell she loved it so far. Oh my God, I love this so much. Oh, I love that. As I say, my mom's a Ravenclaw. 
I'm a Gryffindor. But it's still really cool. Oh, uh, is it Errol? But look, she's a puppet. Oh, you don't need a puppet. Bet. See? <gasps> but also, if you. Oh my god! <laughs> But also, if you uh, squeeze her feather right there. Dying. Is this just a wallet? Yeah. I'm gonna get this for your brother. So, we decided to spring for the holiday snow globe cake. So this one is vanilla. Huh? So it's vanilla cake, vanilla frosting, and there's like chocolate igloo and two like chocolate gingerbread men in it. It actually looks pretty decent. Even though it's $18, uh, yeah, this, this better be good. This better be worth $18. All righty, well, first we're gonna start with the uh, little chocolate gingerbread man. That's one go chocolate. It's been a piece of the cake. It looks pretty good. Oh wow. That's really good. For an $18 vanilla cake. That's really good. Five minutes later. Alrighty, uh, that was decent. I'd give that, an, I'd honestly give that an 8 out of 10. Um, the only thing that would bump it up to a 9 is if they drop the price to maybe $10 because it's just, something like this is not worth $18. There's the uh, Fast and Furious ride. See, everyone tells me that I need to go on that. Well, maybe I'll go on it later. I mean, I mean, I do get free Universal Express after four, so might as well use it on something. But also, I can tell that these two are definitely having fun, and that makes me very proud. All my mom wants to do is go to Diagon Alley, and I don't blame her, but I'm also worried that it's gonna be packed in there. I'll let them walk in before me. Well, <laughs> no words. <laughs> Okay, so it's just like an assortment of these things. Wow. How much is it? Okay. Uh, $40. I'd say it's worth it, honestly. Oh, they brought back the giant pygmy pops. These little dudes are so cute. They're so soft and mushy mushy. Give me a little. <laughs> Taking a nice little stroll through the Simpsons land. Oh, yeah, it's the Quickie Mart. There's, yeah, there's Cletus Chicken Shack, Krusty Burger, Moe's, the Frying Dutchman. There's a lot of options. I want to get myself some Duff beer, but I heard that stuff, that stuff can get you messed up. I always have to remember there's kids watching. So up here, we get a look at the Krusty Burger menu. The, what is, I don't even know which one that is. Ooh, chicken and waffle sandwich. Oh dang. Ew, maple syrup mayonnaise. Yuck! I don't like mayonnaise. Oh dang. I remember I had one of these five years ago. It was actually pretty good. We got Krusty Burger the first time we came here five and a half years ago. I think I got the Clogger Burger. You know what? I'm, I don't come here for burgers and whatnot, but you know what? Why not? I mean, treat yourself. It's freaking Christmas time. Alrighty, well, this is my meal. The uh, Clogger Burger. Nice curly fries. Um, Pretty good, pretty good. We got a Buzz Cola. I'm pretty sure it's just Coke Zero and Cherry Syrup, but. Well, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Not really the biggest cola guy, at least not anymore, but this is pretty good. All right, um, haven't had the Clogger Burger in five and a half years. Uh, this thing is massive. Uh, okay. 
Okay. That beef is really good. So we've gathered that if I'm going for theme park burgers, come to Krusty. If I'm going for theme park pizza, either Cafe 4 or Louis, which I haven't filmed yet. I'll go there soon. But yeah, I have had Louis pizza before at work. It is phenomenal. It really is. 20 minutes later. Um, I really don't want to film the remains of any of our food because it's kind of gross, but uh, that Krusty Burger, I'd give it maybe a 6 out of 10. Again, I just, I don't come to di- <laughs> Yes. Yes, Mom, I almost said Disney, even though, even though I work here, I don't come to theme parks for burgers or hot dogs or pizza. I come for everything else. Getting ready to make our way to the Hogwarts Express. I don't know why I didn't film us entering King's Cross Station. That's very unprofessional of me, but turn the corner. You have the greatest advertisement in the world. And again, if you've seen the Half-Blood Prince, you'll understand why this is so funny. I love how like all of this luggage has like little like Christmas presents and whatnot. It's really cool. Oh boy, stairs. Why do they have to be stairs? All right, here we go. Uh, see, that's the thing, it's like, someone has to film you or like take a picture of you like walking through that to get the illusion, but still, I think it's cool nonetheless. See, the thing is, I've gone on the Hogwarts Express from Diagon to Hogsmeade many times, but I've only gone from Hogsmeade to Diagon maybe once or twice. Why? So what's funny is that these two have actually never been to Seuss Landing. I'm pretty sure we skipped it the first time we came here, so this will be fun. Oh wow, check it out. Circus McGurkis, kind of like the Captain America Diner, is actually open. I know these restaurants are open like almost every day, but it's only for such a short period of time. And I don't know when those times are. So uh, first time in Seuss Landing, thoughts? It's cute. There's still walkers. Oh yeah, no, we do want to meet the Grinch, but it's a uh, two and a half hour wait, so uh, not right now. All right, I know I got that uh, snow globe cake from Tribute, but I cannot resist snookers and snookers. I mean, just look at the fudge. Okay, the caramel apple pie fudge right here. That is the best fudge I've ever had. I've also had the eggnog 
What else have I had? Um, I've had, I mean, I've obviously had chocolate. Um, do they have chocolate? Yep, the chocolate peanut butter is also decent too. But also just the cookies, the cookies. Oh my gosh, I love these Rice Krispie Treats so much. These Rice Krispie Treats be, what do the kids say, bussin'? Alrighty, let's see if I can get a bite of this thing. A piece of my cheek. Hmm. That's really good. Two hours later. Oh, whoopsie. Uh, I took a little detour back to Universal Studios to pick up a nice little shirt for my mama. Yeah, you can't really see what it is. It's the uh, Grimmauld Place shirt. So they have three different variants. They have a short sleeve. Actually, no, there's four different variants. They have a short sleeve, a long sleeve, a tank top, and then a sweater slash spirit jersey style shirt, if you will. This one was the most expensive, so uh, keep that in mind. What do you need? 